to my morning skincare routine is toner. These days I've been really liking these Cos RX toner pads. So they come like this. I really like these toner pads because they are soaked with product and also having a good base toner is really important especially in the winter because it helps lock all of the moisture in your skin. Next, after toner, I like to use um, this double serum by Clarins. I use this in the morning and at night. I am no like um, skin expert or anything, but I did see quite a lot of changes after I started using this. This is my second bottle. This is pretty pricey, not gonna lie, but I definitely do think that it's pretty worth it. And then with this, I will use um, a vitamin C serum. And then before it fully dries, I like to go in with a roller and just roll out the product so that it's fully absorbed. Next we have moisturizer. Here I'm using the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is also my second jar. I just finished one of them. Um, I really like this because it's pretty light, um, but it's also extremely moisturizing and it also smells very, very good. And of course, we need to top it all off with some sunscreen. So here I'm using the Claris sunscreen. It has SPF 50. And um, just an FYI, I just learned this the other day, but apparently you should put sunscreen if you're working from home, even if like you don't see sunlight because your computer screen actually radiates UV light. Um, so I did not know that. So now I put on sunscreen um, even when I don't see the sun. <laughs> and lastly, we're just gonna apply some chapstick to moisturize the lips. So usually if I'm just working from home or just chilling at home, this is where my morning routine kind of stops. But if um, I do have something to do that day, I will put on something a little bit more. So I will show you guys what I usually do for like a simple winter makeup look. So I just recently purchased this Espar BB Cream Cushion. I've been really liking this cushion because it's very light and airy and um, it has a really nice glow to it. So I usually just apply a very thin layer and the coverage is pretty good. I'll add a bit more if I need to, but usually just one thin layer is enough and it also allows my skin to breathe. So next up, we're going to do the most important step after skincare, which is your brows. So here I'm using this Colorgram Talk brow pencil first to shape it. So I like my brows pretty straight and thick, so that is the look that I am going for. So next, I'm gonna go in with this Glossier Brow Gel to further fill in my brows and define them. I want my brows to look pretty full, um, but at the same time pretty natural, and that's why I'm going in with this brow gel to kind of fluff everything up. So now that the brows are finished, we can move on to the eyes. Um, if I'm feeling extra girly that day or if I want to put some extra effort into my makeup, um, I'll put on some eyeshadow. I recently got this eyeshadow palette from Espoir, so I just wanted to try it out and show you guys the colors. I'm gonna go in with this lighter color first. And then I'm gonna go in with this taupe brown just to add some depth onto my eyelids. And I'm just gonna subtly put it on the crease. Then I'll use the other side to just blend it out. So the eyeshadow is pretty subtle, but it is there. 
then I'll use the remaining whatever's left on this brush underneath. And then I want to brighten up my under eye just a little bit. So I'm going to use this concealer brush and go back into my BB cream, grab a little bit. And then kind of like squint and then dab in the center. So now my eyes just look a bit brighter and I look a bit more awake. So up next is eyeliner. Um, I just want a pretty subtle eyeliner look um, just to lift my eyes a little bit. I'm going to go in with this Clio um, pencil liner. This is in a light brown so it's less harsh on the eyes. And instead of filling it like all the way through, I'm just going to do a small wing here. like that and then I'll go in with a smaller brush like this one um, just to blend it out a little bit so usually the next step would be to curl my lashes but my lashes are already curled because I had them lifted um, so I'm just gonna go straight in with mascara and here I'm using a, actually I don't know what brand this is, but this is the mascara. Um, I got this from a Japanese makeup store in East Village, so I'll try to find it and link it down below. But I really like this one because it has a really small tip, so it gets all of my lashes. So then next we have some blush. Here I'm using this 3CE blush. This is in the color Rose Beige. So for lips, I tend to go for lighter neutral colors and I recently got this Peri Para lipstick. I got this in two colors. This one's in a more pinkish color and I really, really like it. It's very buttery and smooth and it makes my lips like look a lot bigger. So it's really nice and it's pretty hydrating as well. And then if that day I want to feel a bit more confident, if like I wanted a more stronger looking makeup look, um, I'll go in with a brighter color for the lips just because everything else is pretty neutral. I recently got this Colorgram Talk Liquid Lipstick, but I'll go ahead and apply this in the center of my lips for a more gradient look. And that's 